Hello everyone. So today in this episode of uh, C++ interview series, uh, we are going to talk about polymorphism. So let's talk about polymorphism and its different forms and what it means by along with examples in C++. All right. So first, yeah, the what is meant by polymorphism is the ability of any data to be processed in more than one form. So just like encapsulation and inheritance. So this is also a concept in object oriented programming. And in polymorphism, there are several types of polymorphism. First one is two categories basically, compile time polymorphism and runtime polymorphism. Compile time polymorphism also called early binding or static binding and the other one is also called late binding or dynamic binding and in the compile time polymorphism basically we can do function overloading and then operator overloading and in the runtime what we are basically referring to is function overriding so let's see practical examples of this okay so this is uh the previous project that we worked on uh, when we explain the other parts of this series so basically we have a character class this is the header file we have a name and an age and print function that just print the name of the character and then we have character npc which is uh, again a class extended or derived from the character class uh, and here we have overridden this print function but it's pretty simple okay so first thing we are going to talk about it function overloading right so in the character I'll add a function Void eat and another function. Oh, we can implement this right away. In our C plus plus class like this, and then I'll add another one. Void eat int amount right. let's implement this too and let's add another one for e std string name okay now we have the same function uh, with the same name but uh, with different parameters so this is called overloading function overloading so this may not make much sense here but for something like let's say let's say we are implementing a calculator and we have a addition function add function for addition we might need to uh, add two integers so two floating point numbers so two doubles things like that so right let's check the implementation as well here i'll put std c out just et slash and for new line and here I'll put eating amount and std and 
just add a new line okay so here e team and we print the amount as well and here e team and we print the name of the put So just to complete this example, I'll just call it from here C player eat C player eat and then I'll give five the amount the player should eat C player eat food name let's say rice and if I run uh, let me comment this because we don't need those things now hello world eating 18 5 18 rice so same function different parameters this is function overloading let me add a comment here function overloading okay and the next type of polymorphism current pile time polymorphism is operator overloading okay that means for example if we have two integers in x and y so we can do x plus plus y we can do this without any issue but uh, if we try to do this c player plus c and pc this gives us an error what's the error no operator that matches these operand types uh, operands no operator plus matches these operands okay so if you want to define that we can do it through function overloading sorry operator overloading so to do that here uh, Add a function again void operator plus mm -hmm, this class type character right now let's implement this here we have this so here i'll just type std see out add in two characters okay now oh, why is this error Okay, now here, if I let me comment this, C player plus C and PC. Now we don't have that error, and if I play, we should get add into character or oh, add into it should be add into characters just a grammar error, not a program error here add into characters okay so actually this operation doesn't 
make much sense here but if we do something like if we change this return type to character and set the name to whatever the name of the first character and the given character as the parameter and set it as the name of the newly name of a newly created character and return it that would make somewhat of a sense but for this example i think this should be enough right the next part next part is uh, runtime polymorphism and that means function override or oh, before that why do we call this uh, early binding or, or static binding because we uh, when we compile the program we already know which function to use see he is uh, because it is decided based on the parameter in the compile time so and that's why it is called early binding and after implementing the example for the runtime polymorphism let's see why do we call it uh, runtime okay so for that okay uh, here we already have this function print function that we have implemented uh, for both character and npc see we have print here and also for the npc and for the character in the character we just print character name and name and for the npc we print npc name and then name so let me create a new pointer in the type of character pointer let's say cptr and i'll assign the address of npc character to this character point and here if i ctr sorry if i call print what do you think it should print so this npc is actually in the type of character npc so you might think this will be printing npc name and then name let me run this here it actually prints character name and then joe so what happened here is since our pointer is in the type of character it can only access the function implemented in the character class the print function implemented in the character class but if you add the virtual keyword in the character header file uh, this will print like this now here it actually prints npc name and then john so when we put the virtual keyword it uh, informs the compiler to do a late binding or a dynamic binding all right and that's actually all you have to do in order to use dynamic binding uh, you have to use the virtual keyword uh, in the functions that you want to override in derived classes and one more thing if i don't have an implementation of this virtual function it is called a pure virtual function basically it doesn't do anything um we can in oh, wait if we just add equal zero this is a pure virtual function but in this case we actually have an implementation here and the reason to call it dynamic binding is uh, now uh, this uh, whatever the when we call print uh, whether to call print function in the character or character npc 
that depends on what happens in the runtime. It is not decided in the compile time because if let's say this whatever I assign here, let's say we have multiple uh, derived classes of the character class and whatever assigned to this character pointer may be based on player input or it could be random or anything. So it is not decided which type of uh, object will be pointed by this character pointer. So therefore uh, in the runtime only which print function to be called will be decided. So because of that we call it late binding or dynamic binding. And with that I'm going to stop this episode and in the next episode I'm going to talk about templates. So template classes and template functions in the next episode and thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye